Hello everyone, my name is Owen. Uh, welcome to my fourth video in my Java programming series. And today we're going to be going over some simple string operations. So the first one that I want to talk about, which also has to do with more than just strings, but mainly when you're printing stuff, this will come in handy, and that is called concatenation, but without the S. <coughs> so what concatenation is, is it's a way to, like, you know, if you're printing something, or even if you're not printing something, it's a way to add. It's basically just adding two variables, and um, y even like if you were adding a string and a number in like a print line, it would print the string and the number. So I'll show you right here. We'll just do hi, and then we'll do int n equals five. Um, dot. So. Let's see. We'll just do A, and then the way to do this is to just add a plus sign N. <coughs> so if you do A plus N, then we can compile that. Come back over here. And now it says hi and 5, which is what we put in. So notice that, um, I just, sorry, I just deleted it, but notice that there was no space in between those. And there are multiple ways to put a space in. Um, the easiest way would just be to put a space in your string. Um, and then you can come back, compile it, open that up, and then bam, you got your space there. Um, but aside from that, you can also add in a space in your while you're printing. And all you gotta do is just do, uh, you know, just put in your quotation marks, uh, a space in between, and then add the plus sign. And I gotta delete this space, but as you come back here, you should be able to see there is a space in between. So. Um, so as you can see, it is, uh, you can do a lot more than just, uh, I mean, it, this will come in handy uh, when you do it, and it doesn't have to be just, uh, it doesn't just have to be a string and a number, it can be two strings, so, and then you can print that, whoops. Another quick thing, um, it's very common to forget things at the end of your code, like a semicolon, which I've, um, I actually haven't addressed yet, but you know, if if you have an error, first off, just go back, check, make sure that you got all your semicolons. But anyways, now you can see it says, hi, my name is Owen, and it's got all the spaces in between and everything. So that is concatenation. So the next thing I would like to talk about um, is the length method. And what the length method does is it can look at a string and tell you how long, how many characters is in that string. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use uh, my second string here, and there are also two ways to do this. First, I'll just do it like this. Um, the the way that you use this method is to put x, which is your variable. So you put your variable name, and then you put dot length. Whoops. Um, sorry, my mouse or my trackpad does that sometimes. So length, and then you also have parameters. Now these are blank parameters. There's nothing in them, but you still have to keep them here. So just put, um, you know, empty parentheses with nothing inside. So then you can compile that, run it, and you can see we got 15. So as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So as you can see, it counted um, the spaces also. So that is, you know, I mean, uh, that's that's pretty important, I guess. Just don't forget about that. But it'll come in handy at some point. And another way to do this, you can also just, you know, you can make an integer, and you can do the same thing up here if you wanted to, and then you can just print your integer down here, and that'll give you the same result. 15. Okay, so <coughs> that's the length method. Um, you may need it sometimes, but yeah. Alright, so in addition to the length method, there's another method that I want to talk about, and that is the substring method. Um, and it's pretty similar as far as doing the substring method, except for, actually, let me go back. The thing that I just did here, you cannot put the substring um, in an integer the way that you want to do it is you want to come back uh, into a print line and, they can, and then you can just do substring and then you'll have your parameters and inside 
inside your parameters um, you can do one of two things. You can either put one letter in here, I'm going to put three, and I'll show you what it does. Um, or, well, let me show you what this does first. So, uh, as you can see, it only printed name is Owen. Um, so, what that did was it came down and it printed from the third index and on. And I'll show you, let's see, I have this on notepad right here, just so you can see. Um, when uh, a string, when you're counting an index and a string, it's or whatever, it's always going to start with a zero um, for your first letter. So as you can see, I have a phrase here. It says "Hello, dog," and each letter or character has its own index. And this is, you know, zero, one, two, you know, H is zero, E is one, L is two, L is three, and O four, and even the comma and the space both to get their own indices. So what it's done here back in my code as you can see I put three it's gonna print from index three and on so as you can see I have one two and then or sorry zero one two and three is the n so it's gonna print from the n and on. So the next thing that you can do is you can just put a section um, that you want to print out. So you can print, uh, I don't know, I'll just put um, 7 and I'll show you how this prints out. And Alright, so that only prints out name. Yes, well that was good. Um, I can't tell if it has a space in there. I'll, I'll count, but so what this does is this is your your end, your ending index. So but unlike this one where the three um uh it prints the third index this the seventh index does not get printed it um it prints it stops i think it's hang on zero one two three four five six seven okay so this is the seventh index the space so unlike the three it's gonna stop one before it so it's gonna it's not going to print the seventh one it's gonna print everything before it and um I'll, here, I'm going to make this 9 just so I can show you guys. That way it's not a space in, instead. But, okay, so now we have name is, and as you can see, the the S is the ninth index. So it's not going to print the S. However, it is going to print everything before it that is greater that is 3 or greater than 3. So that is how you use the substring index. If you have any more questions, just leave a comment, and I'll get back to it. Um, so after that, we are going to do uh, converting your strings to uppercase and lowercase. And this is a really simple thing. It's uh, again similar to this. All you're going to do is do um, your string name dot, and to do it to lowercase, it's going to be to lowercase with empty parameters, just like that. You need the L needs to be uppercase, and and the C has to be an uppercase C. And so we'll compile that, clear that out, and print it. And now I already had it in lowercase. I, I should probably. Um, I'll do that just so you can see it again. Okay, so now you can see I have the uppercase name and it is converted to lowercase along with the rest of my string. So what you can also do is put upper. Sorry, is put to uppercase. I am lost here. Hang on. <laughs> oh, that's why I have cap lock, caps lock on. Sorry. So to uppercase, and that is the same thing as you know. To it's printed. You write it the same way as to lowercase, just with upper instead, and the U S be capitalized. So we'll clear that out, and I will print it again. And as you can see, it is all made into uppercase. You know, even if this is uppercase, you know, it's still brought into uppercase, like, uh, same thing as lowercase. So the last thing that I'd like to go over is escape sequences. And escape sequences are, like, you may have been trying to do this. If you try to put, like, quotes inside of a string, you can see that it doesn't work. Because this quote right here is ending this quote. Um, so it's just, this is, like, my space, and then... 
it's just empty name and that probably that won't even compile as you can see so what you need to do if you want to print these is put a backslash before it before both quotation marks and that is an escape sequence and that covers uh, quotation marks and now you can see it'll compile and I can come back here and print it and it, it'll have it can print the quotation marks um, so that's that's one thing and you can also do um, backslash n I'm not going to do this twice but backslash n is the way to um, uh, skip lines so see it does my and then it skips down a line and then it does names Owen and there's also backslash t which is a uh, tab if you can guess that so it'll tab over and then there's backslash backslash and backslash backslash is uh, is going to just put a slash one slash so um, when you're doing this uh, please note that these have to be inside your quotation marks so it, it's not it's not like this you know outside where these are outside of your quotation marks so as you can see these are black um, and not green because they're outside your quotation marks this does not work they have to be inside your your quotation marks so um, yeah so that are that is your main escape sequences uh, uh, if there's any more we're getting done later I believe that's that's those are the ones that you're going to use though so uh, with that we are going to I'm going to wrap up this video uh, and that is all the things I'd like to go over so thank you and watch for later this week for more episodes goodbye